You shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. O oh Lord, open our lips.
pride of the higher realms is the clear vault of the sky, as glorious to behold as the sight of the heavens. The sun, when it appears, proclaims as it rises what a marvelous instrument it is, the work of the Most High. At noon it parches the land, and who can withstand its burning heat? A man tending a furnace works in burning heat, but three times as hot is the sun scorching the mountains. It breathes out fiery vapors, and its bright rays blind the eyes. Great is the Lord who made it. At his orders it hurries on its course. It is the moon that marks the changing seasons, governing the times, their everlasting sign. From the moon comes the sign for festal days, a light that wanes when it completes its course. The new moon, as its name suggests, renews itself. How marvelous it is in this change, a beacon to the hosts on high, shining in the vault of the heavens. The glory of the stars is the beauty of heaven, a glittering array in the heights of the Lord. On the orders of the Holy One, they stand in their appointed places. They never relax in their watches. Look at the rainbow and praise him who made it. It is exceedingly beautiful in its brightness. It encircles the sky with its glorious arc. The hands of the Most High have stretched it out. We could say more, but could never say enough. Let the final word be, he is the all. Where can we find the strength to praise him? For he is greater than all his works. Awesome is the Lord and very great, and marvelous is his power. Glorify the Lord and exalt him as much as you can for he surpasses even that. When you exalt him, summon all your strength and do not grow weary, for you cannot praise him enough. Who has seen him and describe him? Or who can extol him as he is? Many things greater than these lie hidden, for I have seen but a few of his works. Here ends the reading.
A reading from Matthew. He put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to someone who sowed good seed in his field, but while everybody was asleep, an enemy came and sowed weeds among the wheat and then went away. So when the plants came up and bore grain, then the weeds appeared as well. And the slaves of the householder came and said to him, Master, did you not sow good seed in your field? Where then did these weeds come from? He answered, An enemy has done this. The slaves said to him, Then do you want us to go and gather them? But he replied, No. For in gathering the weeds, you would uproot the wheat along with them. Let both of them grow together until the harvest. And at harvest time, I will tell the reapers, collect the weeds first, bind them in bundles to be burned, but gather the wheat into my barn. He put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in his field. It's the smallest of all the seeds, but when it has grown, it's the greatest of the shrubs and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour until all of it was leavened. Jesus told the crowds all these things in parables. Here ends the reading.
Good evening. It's my privilege as Dean to welcome you to St. Paul's Cathedral today. Whoever you are and wherever you find yourself in the journey of faith, please know that you are most welcome to participate in all that we do here. I draw your attention to our Cathedral Life leaflet with notices of a number of activities, um, particularly on Saturday, next Saturday, June 1st, we are having a parish cleanup day. It's a great opportunity to work alongside other parishioners to get to know people as we spruce up the campus for the bishop's ordination on June 15th. You'll see uh, information about how to sign up in your leaflet. Please stand as you are able for our closing prayers. On this Memorial Day weekend, we remember those who have given their lives for this country. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, in whose hands are the living and the dead, we give you thanks for all thy servants who have laid down their lives in the service of our country. Grant to them thy mercy and the light of thy presence, and give us such a lively sense of thy righteous will that the work which thou hast begun in them may be perfected. Through Jesus Christ, thy Son, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal God, in whose perfect kingdom no sword is drawn but the sword of righteousness, no strength known but the strength of love, so mightily spread abroad your spirit that all peoples may be gathered under the banner of the Prince of Peace as children of one Father, to whom be dominion and glory now and forever. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore.